Hi, today we're going to look at probably one of the most important doctrines that we have in the Christian faith, and that is the doctrine of the deity of Christ. Is Jesus Christ really God? Is there anything in the scripture that would indicate that Jesus Christ is God? For if he is not God, to worship him would be worshiping a false god, and that would be wicked. But if he is God, he would require he would be deserving of all of our faith, of all of our devotion. So today we're going to be in the book of Mark, Mark chapter 2. And in this story, um, some friends had a, uh, a, another, a friend that was sick of palsy. And they heard that Jesus Christ was in a house, and really the whole town knew of this. And everybody was crowding around the house, and they attempted to bring this man in. But the Bible says in Mark chapter 2, verse 4, that they couldn't because of the press, because of the crowd of people. So what they did is they opened up the top of the house. I don't know how happy the homeowner was because of this, but they opened up the top of the house, and they uh, lowered their friend in. And the Bible says in verse 5, When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Now my question is simply this. What right does Jesus have to say your sins are forgiven you? Now if somebody were to do you wrong, let's say I were to come over there and, and I were to play a, a trick on you and trip you and make you fall, um, you know, that's, that's wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Now, you have a choice. You can choose to forgive me because I have done something against you. Now, how foolish would it be if indeed I did that? I tripped you. And some other bystander says, hey, by the way, Damien, I forgive you for tripping this person. Both of us, you and I, would look kind of incredulous. Dude, this has nothing to do with you. Back away. You don't know what you're talking about. You can't forgive me because I didn't do this to you. Now, the question is, why did Jesus feel comfortable in saying your sins are forgiven? Well, the reality is in verse 6, that's a good question because in verse 6, the Bible says, but there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in, the, in their hearts, why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? They knew that in order for me to forgive somebody else of a sin, a sin that uh, uh, wasn't done uh, against me in a human way, in order for me to forgive somebody else of their sins, I'm taking the position that only God deserves. And Jesus says in verse 8, And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit what they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Now let's face it, right there, that's a good indication that maybe Jesus is somebody otherworldly. Maybe Jesus being able to uh, understand their hearts. Maybe Jesus is being able to read their thoughts. Maybe that is enough for somebody to go, hold on a second. Maybe I understood you wrong. Maybe you are exactly who you are claiming to be. In verse 9, Jesus says, Whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee. Or to say, arise and take up thy bed and walk. Because this is what Jesus is saying. Which one is easier? Is it easier for me to say something, your sins are forgiven you, and you really won't know if they really are until the last day? Or is it easier to say to somebody who's sick of palsy, take up thy bed and walk? Why one could be judged right there. But there's even something more important that's being discussed here. Because if Jesus is a blasphemer, God will not do miracles through him. So if indeed Jesus had no right to forgive people of their sins, Jesus certainly would not be able to do miracles. Jesus' miracles did not necessarily prove that he's God. Moses did miracles. That didn't prove that he was God. Elijah did miracles. That didn't prove that he was God. Miracles prove that you are a true messenger of God and that you are correct. And that's the reason, and this is on a, uh, another side note, 
why these uh, why these crooks, these criminals that do these um, false healing services. Um, that's why these guys are false teachers, false prophets have nothing to do with them. All right. That's just a side note. You got that for free. But indeed, Jesus says, which is easier for me to say your sins are forgiven? I mean, anybody can say that. How do we know what's really happened? Or take up thy, uh, thy bed and walk. Well, Jesus says in verse 10, he says, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. And he saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise, take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose and took up his bed and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and glorified God. Do you see it? Do you see the scripture is declaring who Jesus Christ is? So you might ask, well, why doesn't Jesus Christ just come out and say, I am God? a decent question. And I'll tell you why. Because with all the prophecies of who Messiah is, Jesus fulfilled them and Jesus says, are you going to believe it? All the, all the things that Jesus says, Jesus says, are you going to believe it? Do you see that this is the importance of faith? Is that when God speaks, I listen and I obey despite the consequences. I believe in what Jesus said. See, for the people that say, oh, I just, if Jesus has to say it in order for me to believe it, the reality is even if Jesus said it, you wouldn't believe it. These people saw the miracles. These scribes saw the miracles, but they still didn't believe. Why? Because of the coldness of their heart. Let me assure you of something. The Bible clearly declares in the deity of Christ, clearly declares that Jesus Christ is God, clearly declares that he and he only has the power to forgive sins. And the reason why so many refuse to see it is because of the hardness of their heart in rejecting who God is. God bless you. If you could, could you subscribe to my channel? Get the alerts. Um, I want you to be able to, to uh, hear everything that I do and say. Give me some feedback. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, it's all right. You can give me a thumbs down. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this ministry. God bless you, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.